said I need to lock this. Take it. Fuck. Oh shit! <laughs> Smart idea. You let. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> oh, thank God. Did I survive? Fuck off. That door is open now. Maybe the visitation room. I can... Fuck off, Myrtle. Okay, that's one lock. Oh. It's like you're really quiet now. I don't even know what the voice said. I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Is there doors that are aren't that are open that shouldn't be? Oh, is this door open here too? Oh, man, I had a heart. I feel oh, that door is locked. I swear to God, if I have to go back down there, I would throw a hissy fit so hard. Or maybe this door is unlocked. Oh, thank God. Fuck off. I'm going out down here. Oh, shit. Can I just leave? The door is right here. Let me out. Damn. Oh, wait. Is that like a lock? That is a lock. That's a stupid... I mean, I could take the lock out, right? I should be able to. Let me out. Maybe the key's in this room, secretly. What does this say? Ever since my, Ever since my first day working here, I felt a little strange. Now, after what happened that day... What happened that day, things seem to be getting even stranger. I'd even okay, I don't feel comfortable reading this. Because I was going to read it, and then I started... <sighs> that was somebody's... Fuck you, I'm dead. Uh, I don't want to play anymore. Oh! Am I supposed to follow him? <sighs> I'm fucked, aren't I? There's another note. I, I'm terrified of reading these. I'm not reading them. <laughs> Mr. Rhodes, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral service. Michael. <gasps> it's open. Is this where I die? To make things, to make things eat weirder, this place, this place is a serious lockdown system. First time I ever seen it used. So many of the workers, including themselves, were ordered to wait in the family room. I was the first responder that day. I was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but that was the last communication they ever had. The last thing. Oh, fuck. Is everybody here dead? Everybody here is dead. There's another note. I swear to God, I saw another foot just appear out of nowhere. 
so depressed. So she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. She seemed to be vanished. The only uh, I was wondering, oh, fuck this. I don't want to play this game anymore. I think I've won. Oh wait, was there a key in there? Shit, I should check that. I'm probably supposed to go back down there. I'm not. I'm not planning on it. <laughs> if I have to, I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> they still haven't buried them. Oh, there's another body. Sullivan has been laying in his coffin now for two days, and Myrtle's for three because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral. It had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them. Even if all of them he is going, doing, is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle in Sullivan's coffins. Or heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, oh, there's more. <laughs> Fuck me. Feeling nerves around the coffins, I get a strange vibe now. That the visita in the visitation room, the atmosphere is is starting to feel different, heavier. Feels the air. Oof, gosh, Yoda. Maybe it's just a normal stuffy air. Oh, there's more. There aren't any windows in there, and in the middle of the summer... There is a window in the summer. <laughs> I saw it. I can prove this letter wrong. I saw a window. I know there is. Boom. Window. Suck it. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, I can still leave. Thank God. But do I want to check out any other room? That room, I feel like it's a safety room. <laughs> okay, it's still warped. Fuck. Then, shit. I don't want to be here. It's too quiet. There's a security reader here. It looks like it also requires a passcode. Okay. Oh, I just saw something. Oh, shit. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Fuck me. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. I fuck. I've gone to the chapel first. See if anything else is different. Oh, there's another note down here. It turns out Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Miss Rains has oh, there's a fucking morgue. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a, his flake his mother is, it's probably just something else she she in, inherited and eventually compromised. They are burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home, I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's key card. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen. But then again, Miss Rains would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devin had stolen the system lock override key as well and hid it somewhere in the building. This has to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Well, I, I, I know where that key is. It, it's not where I want it to be. <laughs> okay. And, uh, fuck. The key is obviously in the sex dungeon. 
No, but the corpse dungeon. Man. Whose idea was the... Maybe it's under here. Checked under staircase. And finds that there is a hole in his throat. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> Back into this shit show. Where's the fog? Did they change this whole area now? I gotta find Continue. Oh, she's still in her coffin. That's good. I think. I hope. I'm not going near that fucker sucker. Uh, okay, that leaves out. Where's this damn key card? I'm not going near that fucking coffin. I'm not risking her escaping. Maybe it's not actually down here. Maybe, hmm. Maybe I lucked out. I hope not. Ugh. Wait, do I have the key? Did I pick it up by accident? I should actually check. Okay, I do not have the key. I'm, I'm terrified. There's no sound. There's... <sighs> okay, this door just worked pretty bad. There's no other rooms. I didn't find another regular key, so... It's, oh man, can't go in here. Oh, well, I say I won <laughs> because I lived. And that's it for this, for this stupid game. I'm not playing this anymore. I'm terrified as hell. There's, oh gosh, I mean, Yeah, there's nothing. I have, I don't know what to do from here. I wasn't paying attention to anything because I was mortally terrified. But I'll do. It's. <laughs> I've lost all fear because for some reason I feel like I probably shouldn't be. I should probably wait for that second of clarity and realize. Oh shit, there's something there. Oh shit, I'm just to think about this is making me get goosebumps. <laughs> okay, well, this is it. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.